Well, Fox 26 is your Gulf Coast Weather Authority. And I know we're very closely watching that radar. That's right. Things are quiet now. Just a little bit of light rain rolling across Houston, but we've got a severe thunderstorm watch and a tornado watch all two hour north, northeast, northwest. So certainly there will be the potential for some of those severe storms to get closer to us tonight and into early tomorrow. So even though things are not severe or super crazy right now, don't let your guard down because we do still have a pretty high risk for some late night, early morning storms. I do want to show you, though, where we have the severe risk at this point and we do have a tornado watch up around the Lufkin area until 9 p.m. But those storms are basically moving away from our area. Over towards Austin, Waco, Temple, Colleen. We've got a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 p.m. But at this point, these storms are staying just outside of our region. But this storm near Round Rock if it continues to push off to the east, could get pretty close to the Bryan College Station area, so we'll have to watch that closely. But overall, things are fairly calm now. Just our Fox Red radar showing a little bit of light rain rolling across Houston over towards Cleveland and Atascacita. However, it is still a Fox 26 storm alert day and storm alert night because we've still got a pretty high risk for some severe weather. We could have flooding, in fact, heavy rain anywhere from one to three inches through early Wednesday, high chance for lightning, medium chance for some large hail, maybe golf ball size or a little larger, and the tornado threat still remains in that low to medium category. So we've got all types of hazards that we will be monitoring and tracking as we go through the night. Whether where you live. Hopefully you're having a great afternoon across Pearland, Brenham, Spring. Our model showing a little bit of light rain coming down around Pearland and Spring. Now 80 degrees for you in Brenham with overcast skies. We've got this big time storm system that's going to roll through by tomorrow morning. And until that happens, we are in that warm sector and we have that very warm, moist, unstable air mass out there. We've got the thick clouds and a little bit of light rain now, but our future cast, our Fox model will show a big line of storms, a squall line basically that will roll through for the early morning hours. So I can't rule out an isolated, strong, possibly severe storm before midnight, but I think the main action will be early Wednesday morning. In fact, I'll stop the clock here around 3 a.m. College Station, Brenham, big line of storms are rolling over you and a few of those could be severe. Right at 4 a.m., this line of storms over Tomball and Huntsville, and I think between 4 and 5 a.m., that line of storms will reach the Houston area, and it quickly races off to the east. I think by 7 to 8 o'clock, it is rolling out. So hopefully it'll be out of here before you have to get up and head out the door. Cold front will push through behind that, and that will clear us out for the rest of the week. But we've got to get through one stormy night, so it is going to be kind of rowdy. It may wake you up around 4 or 5 a.m. Thunderstorms, some severe possible, dry by 10 a.m. 70 degrees and some sunshine expected tomorrow afternoon with upper 70s. Look at the weekend. It is going to be gorgeous after a stormy night. Great conditions Saturday and Sunday.